Welcome back, everyone, to Nanaliza Dawn. I'm your host, Dominic Shadow here, and we have another re replay. Not a request this time. This is just a replay I found because I wanted to show off some of the new maps. So, if you have seen the tournament recently, good. If you haven't seen the tournament recently, the videos are on YouTube. I don't care what anyone says. They're on YouTube. They're in the playlist for tournaments. Go and check that out. By the time people watch this, though, they'll all be published, so that's kind of a moot point. But if you're watching live, they are all on YouTube. They're in the Zero K Tournaments playlist. You can run through that. Anyway, for those of you watching on YouTube, they will already be live. They're already all published by the time you see this. They'll be all public. So you'll have probably already seen them. Anyway, this is Aurelian. It's a new C map, and it's pretty neat. It's. It's. It looks like it actually supports Anthbot pretty well. We'll find out, because El Torero did go for the Anthbot factory, while on the other hand, FFC going for ships, which you'd normally expect. But the way this map is set up, there are quite a few shallows, which look like they will be of some use to Anthbots. I mean, they do allow them to go above water from time to time, and that's the important thing, because Anthbots. I mean, Anthbots, for what people can say, whatever you can say about Anthbots, they certainly are limited underwater. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people will say they're limited in general, but underwater in particular. I mean, ducks, scallops, but the only units that can actually do anything underwater. Everything else has to surface to fire, and that can be a problem. So having areas where you're more likely, or where Amphbots are going to surface on their own is worth it. On the other hand, the fact that FFC knows that El Terrero is going for Amphbots means that they can just go for Hunters. I mean, Hunters hit everything underwater. It's not like they're going to be threatened by any Amphbots. So I'm not sure what El Terrero is going to do here. They could go through the south side here, but it's a bit of a long rush distance. Like, go along the edge here and around the side and then up. That might work, but I think it'd be a little bit too long. I mean, that at, in that direction, you wouldn't be able to take any of these metal extractors, so I'm honestly not sure how much Amphbot can actually work here. We are seeing scallops used, however, for the depth charges they have. So I'm really curious to see how that's going to work out. I don't expect it's going to be that much better than the ducks, but we'll see. It might actually work. Might help get rid of some of the hunters. And, oh, well, here it is. Moment of truth. Hunters come in here, and the depth charges come in, and that, well, it helps, actually. Considering cost, though, 280 compared to 100, that's not great. I mean, two or three scallops might be able to do the trick. There is a bit of splash damage, so I could see, once I get the numbers up, the scallops winning. It's just that we don't have the numbers up yet. I mean, at this point, the hunters are basically just operating in a post. This is not working out well for El Terrero. Interesting approach, and the scallops will be able to take care of a few lone ships here and there. It's the hunters that are the problem, though. If the hunters can be gotten rid of with two or three scallops, then there's a chance. Then there is some hope. But I'm kind of doubtful. I really I really would like to see there be some hope, though, because, of course, Anthbots, they're kind of iffy, especially after the recent nerfs. It's generally been assumed that they're kind of useless. I mean, it might be why El Terrero is using them, because El Terrero has not really played in a while. Certainly hasn't played on C in a while. So at the very least, it'll be interesting. I, I mean, I kind of wish people knew the maps a bit better, because I want to see this map played well. Because this does seem like a pretty cool map. It is now in the matchmaking pool. It replaces Shimmer Shore. And I think it's a good replacement. It's just that water is a weird game. What, Zero K water is kind of a different game from land Zero K. Certainly has a different meta, and often means it has a somewhat different... I don't know, different set of skills, set of knowledge. You can't just, just come in here knowing how to play land zero K and expect to have it work out. I mean, for one thing, ships are a complete game changer. You don't see them on land, for the simple reason that they can't go on land. They're, they're boats. And, I mean, they're not land boats. Which, I guess, are just cars. But no, they they aren't that. And we have two of those factors anyway. So, yeah, it is a bit of a game changer, but I think El Torero has made a good choice with the scalps. Again, between splash damage and the fact that they do have decent anti-ship equipment, I mean, it's not a bad idea. But at the same time, I don't know. Siren coming in here, actually taking quite a bit of damage off the scalps. Hey, this might actually work. I mean, Mass Scallop is really bloody slow, and it means that there's not a whole lot of room for El Terrero to actually build up their expansions, but at the same time, they are able to at least get rid of some of the units. I mean, I don't expect this going to be effective in the long term, because, again, El Terrero is not actually expanding. They have no way of getting units around the map simply because the Scallops are so slow that there hasn't been much expansion, much construction. Although, to be fair, I also just don't see El Terrero actually building any expansion. I can see why they'd be a little bit nervous to do so, but... 
FFC, they are, they're everywhere. FFC's built up their entire half of the map. This is not going to go well for El Torero very shortly. They've been getting great value off the scallops, but that's gonna only go, that can only go so far. I mean, unless El Torero goes for a rush, like immediately goes for a rush, there is no way that FFC is going to lose this. And it looks like El Torero is in fact going to go for that rush, because they kind of have to. That's pretty much their only choice right now. El Torero is... They're pretty desperate, gotta be honest. Oh, I really wish they would expand. Like, I, I get it, there are cutters around. You don't want to have to deal with them too much. But they can't shoot underwater. You can get, I don't know, one scallop along with the conch. I mean, at the very least, it's doing some expansion, which is nice. And scallops are actually doing pretty well. Yeah, see, okay, numbers definitely are the way to go. It is definitely a game of numbers, which makes sense. That's often how riots work, especially lower fire rate riots. Although, none of the scallops are very low fire rate. But, yeah, against... I, don't know, I think Sirens might work in the open ocean. On the shallows, clearly no. On the shallows, clearly scallops win. But, open ocean, the scallop depth charge might not be enough. I don't know. I'm really curious, though, because I, I didn't expect scallops to be quite so effective. And again, a lot of it comes down to the fact that FFC, they don't... Like, they are using units that are ostensibly going to lose. I mean, they, yes, they beat underwater, but they are raiders. Scallops are riots. It kind of fits the whole raider riot triangle. The problem is, what do you underwater? I guess you could get sea wolves. That would be the one thing I could think of. Get sea wolves, or maybe sirens. The sirens actually do seem to be doing a pretty good job here. But even then, that's there's. It's about equal cost here. And the siren. Okay, the siren is winning at equal cost, so siren is definitely a way to go. But again, there's not a whole lot of other options here. I mean, if you think about it, what else does Amphibot have? They have scallops. I guess they have ducks, but the ducks would be ruined even faster from splash damage. And boys might work, but again, kind of slow, so I don't really know here. I think El Torero is probably going to throw in the towel once these scallops are dead. I mean, the scallops look like they're desperately trying to get to the sirens, not go for the metal extractors or whatever. Which, that seems like a bit of an issue for me. Like, I get it. Yeah, they can't get rid of... Yeah, that makes sense. They can't get rid of the sirens. The sirens do beat scallops, but at the same time, the scallops could have just gone over and, I don't know, broken stuff while the sirens were chasing after them. Might have worked. I don't know. But it looks like Amphbot's not all that much of a way to go here. At least not pure scallop. I, I get the logic of it, and it worked out reasonably well against the hunters. I just don't see it working out well against... I mean, clearly it doesn't work well against sirens. Not sure what else you'd use. Again, Amphbot doesn't really have a whole lot of options underwater. Archers wouldn't give you much because they'd fly away when shooting. Boys might work. Actually, that would work okay. But getting them in position would be a real pain in the butt. And... I don't think there's anything else, really. So yeah, that's kind of it. Bit of a shame, that. Well, anyway, next match is going to be on land. So for those of you who don't like c 0 okay, I can understand that. It'll be Dr. Doom and Atostic on New Yamas, another new matchmaking map. So that'll be up in... A couple minutes. And yes, it will be much better. I... Eh, bit of experiment. I do like to watch what happens with water maps from time to time, but it's clear that that's... Clear that that's a metagame that needs to be developed a bit more. So, we'll get back to that some other time. For now, it's going to be a land map. Very likely a vehicle-based map, so stay tuned.